the easiest, cheapest, and most effective way to get air completely out of your brake system. Here's everything you're gonna need. Some rags or towels to clean up any spills. You can see I've got a whole stack of old bath towels. Something to catch your old brake fluid so that you can dispose it responsibly. Two big syringes like these. A brake fluid tester, this thing is super cheap. Anybody who works on their truck, car, motorcycle must have one of these in their toolbox. A little squeeze bottle like this to top up your brake fluid reservoir. And I've already filled it up in advance with some brand new brake fluid that I just opened. A wrench that's the right size to open and close your bleed valve. Some safety glasses, super important. And when working with brake fluid, you want to be wearing rubber gloves like these. Some brake and parts cleaner and a water hose. Now, all of the supplies and items that I'm using in this video, I've linked them in the description below. Full transparency, they are affiliate links. So if you do use those links to make any purchases, I will get a kickback. So thank you in advance. First, I'm gonna use the fluid tester to find out how urgently this brake fluid needs to be changed. I'm gonna demonstrate all of this on my motorcycle's clutch system. It's a hydraulic clutch. And before I start tampering with anything, I've laid down some towels to protect the bodywork from any spills. So I just press the button to switch on the fluid tester, stick the two prongs into the fluid in the reservoir, and these LED lights are showing me that it's got more than 4% moisture saturation. So this brake fluid definitely needs to be changed. And I suspect it as much because it's been two years since I last changed this out. And just to show you that this thing really does work, I've cleaned off the prongs and now I'm gonna stick it into some brand new brake fluid. And as you can see here, it says that it's got less than 1% moisture saturation. Quick disclaimer, this brake bleeding method should work in principle on any vehicle, even if they have ABS. But I gotta be honest, I've never done it on anything except motorcycles, and that too, motorcycles without ABS. So if any of you have got experience using this brake bleeding method on anything else, a car or a truck, or even a bike with ABS, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Would you recommend this brake bleeding method on those types of vehicles too. So first I'm gonna use this syringe to suck out the old brake fluid from the reservoir. I'm gonna dump that in my catch can. Then I'm gonna grab my other syringe and fill it up with some brand new brake fluid. Now all I gotta do is get the right sized hose on the end of the syringe so that I get a nice snug fit around the bleed valve. I'm gonna start applying pressure by squeezing the syringe and I'm gonna open the bleed valve about a quarter turn, just enough so that I have brake fluid flowing through it. And as I'm squeezing the syringe, I'm gonna apply continuous pressure, making sure I don't stop at any point, while keeping an eye on the reservoir and making sure I don't overfill it. And when the fluid level in the reservoir is getting close to the top, I'm gonna close the bleed valve while continuously applying pressure to the syringe. I'm only gonna stop squeezing once the bleed valve is closed. Then depending on the length of hose that you have from the bleed valve all the way up to the reservoir, you want to repeat this process of siphoning out the fluid from the reservoir and pushing through brand new fluid through the hose. And that way you can make sure there's no old fluid remaining anywhere in the system and you only have brand new fluid throughout. So in the case of my motorcycle, I just did this one more time off camera. The reason why this works so effectively is just simple physics. On any vehicle, the reservoir and the master cylinder is gonna be at the highest point, whereas the bleed valve and the brakes are gonna be much lower where the wheels are. So by reverse bleeding, you're working with the air and pushing it in the direction that it naturally wants to go, which is up and into the reservoir. And once I'm done bleeding, I'm just gonna to top up the reservoir to the max line and refit the diaphragm and the cap, and then just gotta clean up by rinsing off and wiping off any brake fluid that I've spilled. Thank you so much for watching to the end. I hope you found this useful.